Welcome to Electron Online. In this example where we still use the mesh analysis method, we have a special case. Not only do we have a voltage source, but we also have a current source. How do we deal with something like this? We're going to apply the same methodology. We could assign currents for each branch, and I'm going to skip that step for now. We're going to assign the mesh currents for each of the two meshes. We have two meshes here, so let's assign the mesh currents. Here we have current one and mesh current two. But since we have a current source right here, we're going to temporarily skip using this particular branch. And we're just going to concentrate on this mesh only, just coming up with a single mesh equation. So for part three there, apply the Kirchhoff voltage law to obtain the equations. Let's start with just the one equation for I1. We're going to start at this corner, go, across, go around the loop and add up all the voltages. Here we have a voltage rise, a 10 voltage, a 10 volt rise. We have a voltage drop across the 4 ohm resistor, minus 4 times I1. And we have a voltage drop across the 6 ohm resistor, at least relative to mesh current 1. That's minus 6 times I1. But we have a voltage rise relative to I2. I2 is in the opposite direction here. So we have to subtract minus I2 from that, like so. Therefore, a minus 6 times a minus I2 gives us a plus 6 volt rise across the 6 ohm resistor relative to I2. Now that we're all the way around the loop, this is equal to zero. There's our first equation. If we solve for this equation, or at least we write into a, a simpler format with I1 and I2 just only appearing once, we have minus 4 times a minus 6, that's minus 10 I1. Minus 6 times this gives us a plus 6 I2. And moving the 10 volts across, that's kind of small here, make it a little bigger. And moving the 10 volts across the other side becomes a minus 10. There's our first equation. Now in our second equation, notice that even though we have drawn our mesh current I2 in the clockwise direction, we have a, a current source that forces a 5 amp current in this branch in the opposite direction. Which means for our second equation, we can say that I2 is equal to minus 5 amps. 5 amps in the opposite direction relative to the direction of I2. If we now use that information and plug that back into our first equation, our first equation now simplifies to minus 10 I1 plus 6 times a minus 5, notice that these are in opposite directions, equals minus 10. That's a minus 30, move to the other side, that becomes plus 30. Minus 10 gives us minus 10 I1 is equal to minus 10 plus 30, that's a plus 20. And finally, dividing both sides by negative 10, we get I1 is equal to minus 2 amps. Since I1 is a minus 2 amps and I2 is equal to minus 5 amps, let's put the amp symbol there. Now we have solved for our two mesh currents, which means we can find the current in each of the branches. If we call this branch 1, we can call this I1. And of course, you can see that I1 is equal to uh, I, the mesh current I1, which is minus 2 amps. I1 can then be written as mesh current I1, which is equal to minus 2 amps. We can now have our second current right here. Let's call this I2. I2 is equal to the same direction as mesh current I2, which we found to be minus 5 amps. And then we have I3, let's call this I3 in this direction. Notice I3 is equal to mesh current I1 minus mesh current I2, which is in the opposite direction. I1 is a minus 2 amps. I2 is a minus 5 amps. We have to subtract a negative 5 amps. That's a plus 5 minus 2, which is equal to a positive 3 amps. And we have now determined all three currents in the three branches in the circuit. Again, anytime you run into a situation where you're trying to use the mesh analysis method, but you have a current source, you temporarily remove that current source from the analysis to only use the meshes that only have voltage sources in them, and then you come back and fill in the blanks. This is a simple example, but if you stay tuned, we can show you a little bit more complicated example to see how the method really works. And that's how it's done.